Hello everybody and welcome to a tutorial on how to export the code from my advanced audio fade driver in such a way as to allow it to be used in any project. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the advanced audio fade driver and then we're going to drag all this code into a new and we're going to do template this time and or I'm doing template at least just to show you guys something that you might already be familiar with in terms of Construct 2 code. So we're going to type in audio up here and use the audio analyzer because this already contains the epic ARPG music. So what we're going to do is we don't need any of this. What we need to do is let's see, we're going to add advanced audio fade driver. We're going to add a little folder for it because this will allow us to separate it off from the rest of the code. And then we need to copy over and make sure that these objects are all in our target project. So that includes the function object which is not in the um, this construct 2 template by default so we need to add that for sure so we're gonna insert new object I always like to do this and enter and we're gonna go back and now we need these two array objects so we're going to click once click twice control C to copy it and then we're going to right click and add a new object we're gonna go type in array up here we're going to click that and then we're going to click the name or insert the name, copy and paste it here. So we're going to insert that in and now we need to go back and copy the, the other one. It's little brother. Then we're going to insert new object again and we can insert another array. All right. So next, very importantly, we are going to make sure that the width, height and depth are equal between both of our projects. Um, these are designed in such a way as to be created with a zero width so that there's no elements within the array object. So we're just going to make sure. So 061, this is the audio data. So audio data, we're going to go zero and tab will allow you to go to the next one, six, one. All right. We're going to click this one. We're going to go back here. We're going to go zero, one, one. All right. Sounds easy enough. Zero, one, 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 one's already in there by default. All right. So we're good on the objects. Let's just make sure. Yep. That's about it. All right. So second, we are going to create an event sheet and include that just as it sh just as it's separated out in the advanced audio fade driver template. So we're going to add event sheet. We're going to call. We don't really need to call it anything in particular, but if it helps, we can use the same name fade driver. Boom. Okay. I think that's the same name. Yep, that is. Okay. So what we're going to do is go back here. We're going to cut and paste in this event sheet. We're going to shift select all of these and then copy. Now, the reason for this is because you cannot copy in the code until you've copied in the global variables. So control C, control V this into here, and then you can control, so, oops, shift select to select all of these, copy them in, and then you can paste. All right. And now we just need to call our function here, fade audio tag. So let's find where it is all right so we're gonna copy and paste this so whenever i am changing something that works i usually like to cut and paste an action that i know is properly working according to our standards and then disable that and that way i have something simple to fall back onto if i know that my new line of code hasn't worked so what we're going to do is actually we can just oh no actually all we need to change here is we need to start its looping volume at negative 60 or you can set it to the global number that I've set here, which is audio fade min volume. So that is the lowest, as it basically explains, it's the lowest decibel level that generally will be audible to players, but just a step above, essentially a step above just being completely quiet. All right, and then what I'm going to do is we're going to call a function. So if you just press one quote here, we can find it. All right, so we're gonna select fade audio tag, and then we need five, variables and then so first one is always the tag for the audio and this is essentially in this template it's known as audio so we're just going to keep it that way i'm not actually going to create a system in this one by which unique audio tags are created and passed to the advanced audio fade driver because we only have one ever audio tag so I'm just going to leave this up to you guys. Now, if we go back to our advanced audio fade driver event sheet, what we can do is we can click the little drop down here and you should be able to see a list of all five parameters and what they are used for. Now we have the duration of fade, which we could probably set to like a second. We have the target volume. So in this case, we want it to be zero. So that's fine. We want it to be zero because that's what we're raising the volume up to. And then we have the type of fade. So 
this is our second to last parameter here. So we are going to set this to one, which I tend to like for fading in audio. Um, it's kind of another user preference, it's up to you guys. And then four is going to be zero because we do not want to stop the audio after it fades in. All right, and then finally, to actually make all of this work, we're going to need to include the event sheet advanced audio fade driver, which I did not actually originally do. Whoops, <laughs> that's also very important. So then we can finally run the layout and let's see how it works. There we go, we get that nice fade in. You, can, you guys can actually see that with the frequency bins. I haven't actually had, I haven't actually tested out my template project with this, um, with the analyzer, so this is actually pretty cool for me too, um, honestly. Alright, so then finally, something else that we could do is, we could set a little blank function to wait, and I know this is really hacky, and you probably should never do this, but after five seconds, we are going to then use function, call function, we're going to call our fade audio tag, whoops, with functions of course, and we are going to just straight up fade out the audio that we faded in at the start of the layout. So we just need the audio tag, we have the time, which is going to be about, eh, we'll just leave it at, we'll, we'll set it at two seconds. And then we have the target volume, which is going to be, let's use the actual Let's use the actual minimum volume variable. And then we have the type of fade. So we're going to go with two. I like two for fading out. And then we're going to have one because we parameter four needs to be one when we want to stop the sound after we're done. So let's see how this works. So. One, two, three, four. All right, there you have it. Um, and then of course there's other, 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 there's other, um, associated issues with this, as you can see, but, um, at least you can see how it does fade out and how that looks with the audio analyzer. So that's a good thing. And yeah, so that's about it. Um, I would recommend actually having some sort of event to call this. Like for example, if your user wants to go to another layout, what you can do is then fade the audio out before loading the other layout. So. There you have it. Thank you guys very much for watching. And if you are interested in buying my advanced audio fade driver, then I'll give you guys the link down below in the description. Now, this is a project that I put a lot of work in trying to develop and hopefully be essentially um, a time saver for a lot of people's projects. And if you do wind up getting it, I really hope it works out for you. Let me know because I wanna make sure that everyone can successfully use the project and have a working polished game at the end. So feel free to message me about it if you have any questions and I will see you guys all later. I'm hoping to cover more community examples and we'll see what else I can get my hands on. <laughs> all right, I'll see you later guys. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.